In this video, we'll show you how to mix down a completed project to a stereo audio file in MP3, WAV, and other file formats. It's a good idea to listen through your entire project prior to mix down and make sure that there are no clips in the master meter. If you do have any clipping, you'll see red peaks here, and you can usually compensate for this just by turning down the master level fader. To mix the project down, go to the file menu and select mix down to over here. Then you can see the sub menu that comes up has a bunch of options. Now the most common thing you're probably going to do is mix down to an mp3 file, but we have some other file formats available as well. AUG is a high fidelity format that creates really small file sizes. WMA is an older compressed format. WAVE is the standard file format for Windows machines, but it's not compressed, so it's going to make full size uncompressed files. So they sound really good, but the file sizes can be big. And FLAC is a very high fidelity lossless format. Down here you can see there's AVI and WMV and they're grayed out. And the reason for this is these are video file formats. And if there was a movie in my project and I was trying to make a video, these options would be available as well. You can learn more about these in the Mixcraft University video editing and rendering video. So let's say I want to make an MP3 audio file. Mixcraft asks if I want to save any changes made in my project. And just to be safe, we'll say yes. So here we can select where the file is going to land. And I'll just put this in Mitchell. And then we can name the file. And here again, we can select the file format. We can actually change it here. When you select the file format up here, these are just sort of shortcuts that automatically select what kind of file pops up here. Now most of the time, this is all you need to do. You can hit save, and Mixcraft automatically renders the file in the background. And you can see the progress down here. And now when I check in that folder, there's my completed song. Let's examine a couple of the other options in the mix down window. Over here is Format Details, and if we hit Edit Details, this lets us adjust the quality of the MP3, or if I'm using a different file format, it will give me different parameters that apply to that particular format. In the case of MP3 files, we have sort of a generic low quality small size, high quality large size, and we can sort of adjust it right here. You can see the kilobyte per second rate changes. 256 is a pretty high quality standard file size, although you can go up to 320. These days it's not really nearly as important as it used to be because internet connections are a lot faster than they used to be and hard drive space is a lot more plentiful than it used to be. But back in the day, as it were, you used to make something like 96K or 128K files, but they could sound a little raunchy, so we're going to keep this guy up at 256. Now if you really know what you're doing, you can hit specify settings and configure and here you have a lot of different tweaky parameters. So if you know what you're doing, delve in. If you don't, just stick with the preset quality selection over here. Once you're done setting these parameters, click OK or hit the X up here. Sometimes you might only want to mix down part of a song. In other words, let's say I just want this section of a song. So if you highlight it by dragging up here, and then we'll go back into our Mix Down to MP3. And when you've got an area selected in the song, you can use the Use Selection checkbox over here. And now when I mix down, it's only going to mix down that section of the song that I've selected over here. If you'd like to output multiple audio files from a project, you can do that using markers, and here's how. I'll double click up here and make markers, and click the Create Track for CDs or Audio Files checkbox right here, and press OK, and make another one over here, and again click on this Create Track for CDs or Audio Files box here, and hit OK. So now I've essentially got three markers because there's automatically a marker at the start of the project. And now I'll go back to the mix down window. And now you can go to the checkbox where it says create a new file for each CD marker and select this guy. And now it's going to make a new file out of each one of these sections. And you've also got another option at this point, this use marker titles checkbox. If you check this box, it's going to use these names up here. In this case, start, song two, song three, so forth. If you use these options, you'll still need to put a name in the file name field here. So let's do that and press save. And look at our progress bar here in our three files. And here are the three files we made with the markers. By the way, you can also get to the mixdown dialog by just clicking on this little shortcut up here where it says mixdown to audio file. 